Welcome back YouTube, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some four color gates in ranked best of three on MTG Arena. Um, so this is a deck that I've played a lot in the past. We've had our Rhythm of the Wild based deck that was more of an all-in, try to combo it with Gate Colossus, hasty them in. Uh, we've played more controlling variants. Uh, so I haven't played this in a while. I do have uh, pretty much the entire deck almost foiled out in paper. Uh, like the original, original build. Um, but I'm trying a couple variations to see, uh, testing it out in best of three as well. Um, so the core of the deck is you have Growth Spirals, Gatekeeper Rams, which get bigger with more gates that you play, Guild Summits draw you cards off your gates being played, Gates Ablaze, which deals damage. It's basically a board wipe that scales with the amount of gates you have. Um, in my build, I'm playing two more Clarions just in... Uh, account for the amount of aggro decks, but also the lifelink's quite relevant off the back of like a gate colossus. And then you have a Secrutus Root, which will grab more gates and put them into play. And then you have your gates colossus, which would cost one less for each gate in play, so eventually just gets cheaper. And then you have your Archway Angel, when it enters the battlefield, you gain two life for each gate you have. Um, we're playing Hydrate Crisis as a mana sink, gain life, draw cards. Uh, one Bane Fire, just as a late game mana sync can't be countered and then the two cards i'm trying out in more of my flex spots of the deck um, so we're playing one vivian to deal with artifacts enchantments or like flyers uh, but also to just keep drawing us more creatures more gas and then we're trying out one domri chaos bringer so i've liked this in my gruel mid-range builds uh, as a one to two of it ramps us and it gives those creatures riot so they can come into play with haste makes gate colossus a lot more relevant or a big gate breaker ram uh, in a pinch it can help us dig for more threats and if we can control the board long enough we can just get an emblem and create tokens each turn the mana base itself it's an assortment of guild gates uh, we're playing four of the is it gruel and simic variants and then some mix uh, i think there are two of each of azorius boros and selesnia for Plaza Harmony, which gains us life, uh, one Breeding Pool. Uh, I like to have a untapped source on turn two, if possible, for a Growth Spiral. Uh, we need blue or green, and then the basics. We're just playing two forests. The sideboard itself: uh, two Disdainful Stroke against Sultai or any of the big mana decks, uh, Esper stuff of that nature. Three Negates, uh, just useful in a lot of matchups. Lava Coils versus any uh, bigger creature decks, Dijins, Drakes, anything like that. Cinder Vines versus more of the Nexus Loops. Canopy is good for Nexus or um, Wilderness Reclamation decks, as well as any sort of Flyers. Lyra is another one to take it out. Uh, keeping our two Rhythm of the Wilds, I like this versus Control. It makes their creatures uncounterable and basically makes it so any creature we have is an instant threat. They can't answer it. Uh, at sorcery speed before we get in damage and then one more vivian just really good against control and if we need the extra artifact removal so i'm going to take this through best of three ranked um at platinum three at this point and we'll get started so if you haven't done so already as this gets loaded uh subscribing hit the little button on the bottom right hand corner costs you absolutely nothing and it's a great way to show your support we're closing in on 100 subs and once we hit that we will be doing another giveaway uh, we did one earlier around 50 subs where we gave away two promo uh, light up the stage the fnm promos so we'll look to continue to do there uh, you can also follow on instagram at mtg underscore joe two um, that way you can keep up with any of the promos that we're going to be going on and uh yeah we'll get started so this hand's a little slow, but we have two board wipes and guild summit if need be. Uh, we're missing a green source, which is notable, but I think we keep it. Alrighty, so opponent, mulls, uh, still doesn't tell us enough. So here we'll lead on the is it guild gate. If we grow a growth spiral next turn, we can shock in. If not, we'll just drop the guild gate. The untapped land on three is useful. Okay, so this could be Phoenix or Drakes. Um, we'll usually have an indication. So this is uh, usually more so the Phoenix deck that they'll play the Krasis. So Gates of Blaze and Clarion will both be useful. 
Okay. So them not having an early accelerant and goblin electromancer is good. It's annoying. It makes you tap all the time. Alright, so they radical idea. So here we want to draw ideally another land and it starts us going. So they have Crackling Drake. So we're short right now. So here I'm just going to play out another summit so we can draw two cards and then play out the Azoria's Guild Gate. We want to hit one more gate so we can uh, use the Gates of Blaze next turn. Perfect. So next turn we can Gates of Blaze, draw two, opponent shocks here, play Electromancer, fine with this, we can sweep up both of them next turn. Okay, and that taps them out from having Dive Down, which is nice. So they're going to hit us for 7 this turn. Drawing into some gateway plazas will s help. Or just the lifelink off that. Another Gates of Blaze is actually really good here too. So here we just ablaze. Cleans the board. We need to discard now. Um, I think we'll just get rid of Root. I don't see a turn where we're going to be casting that anytime soon. Next turn, if need be, we can ablaze and play a Krasis. If not, we can just gate Colossus. Sorry, ablaze and uh, Colossus. Colossus will cost us three next turn. Alright, so we have another guild summit. I don't think we necessarily want to play that out right now because we run the risk of milling ourselves out. So we'll draw two, see what we get off that. Maybe a growth spiral or something. Actually, it's very good. So here we can play out the ram. Yeah, we'll just play out the ram. And we'll pass the turn. So opponents digging. The removal is pretty much useless at a, at this point. Um, get rid of the guild summit. Root can be used in a pinch to draw cards. So they have the electromancer. It's fine, we can clarion on with the lifelink next turn. Trance and Melody is a little awkward. So here... We can X2, gain 2 life, 4 power, blocks either or, but I think I want a board wipe. Root doesn't do it for us. So I think we just Clarion here. I don't want them to have the Electromancer. And then we'll play out the Gate Colossus. We're more of the control deck game one. Vivian's good to shoot down any of their flyers. All right. So here, I'll attack him for eight. Just getting some life. Draw two. And opponent concedes. So we have a lot of answers out of the sideboard here. 
like the other Vivian, like the cinder vines, like the lava coils, like the canopies. Don't like Domri. Probably don't need Banefire. Uh, we can probably go down the Clarions because we're going more targeted removal. Uh, maybe go down an archway. Maybe down a growth a guild summit. They're going to have Entrancing Melody for our cheaper stuff, which makes it awkward. And then maybe just go down like that. Because they can Entrancing Melody this. These are the cheaper ones that they can Entrancing Melody. And then we're just bringing in a lot more removal. Let's run it back like this. Let's see what they bring in. Because I think these decks will board up to two more Entrancing Melodies. They'll play three total. And they usually won't get to enough mana to actually... Sounds really good. We'll keep... Play out the early cinder vines. So here I'm going to lead on the blue source because I have more untapped uh, forests. So they have the Electromancer. Gates of Blaze can clean up. We'll play cinder vines next turn. Uh, if we drop an early cinder vines. Pretty solid. They will get the Phoenix back, which hurts. So we are taking a turn. We're taking five damage this turn, five damage next turn. So that will get us down to ten. So play out the Cinder Vine. This is a faster turn by them. We'll get to Blaze next turn. Hopefully they overcommit. So here we're just gonna wipe the board. They have a negate then. Yeah, so this one's probably done. If we don't draw another sweeper next turn. So it doesn't get rid of Crackling Drake, but buys us a turn. They're likely going to have two spells, though. Uh, they play Electromancer. Electromancer does pose a threat that even if we can kill the Drake, they can kill us with Electromancer. So we'd need another Gates of Blaze. Three, five, yeah, even a Gateway Plaza, or... Plaza Harmony doesn't do it. So we'll see what the opponent does. Beacon bolts his own creature. Negates the beacon bolts. Yep. Opponent's got it there. Nice line. So they have the negates. Do we want the negates? I think that's too reactive um, our life total is going to be threatened so going up there probably cut do we cut a crisis probably cut a crisis I think we need the arch angel more they both cost 6 to really be relevant, and the Angel will just give us much more of a buffer. We're on the play. Sense. Not the best in terms of early, but if we, we can hold off to an Archway Angel and then a Vivian. Should be pretty good. Opponent's down to 5 cards, so a board wipe will be more impactful. 
Same as last game, we're going to lead on the blue red source in case we hit a forest. But we don't really have a second spell. So, slower hand this game. Opponent also doesn't have red mana, which is meaningful. Uh, we'll drop th Guild Gate. They opt. Okay, so they have the Electromancer. The decision here is do we gates ablaze them to hold them off, being able to cycle for a few? Or do we just take the damage? I think. I think we give it to them. Mind you, next turn we're not able to play Vivian anyways. So I think we just board wipe them here. I'm okay to one for one. Because now they have to pay, like, yeah. Looks like it's a good call. That's a good draw. Gives us something to do this turn. Okay, we'll just play out the second ram. Threaten's lethal. Yep. So pretty solid. That second game, they just had a lot quicker draw and they had the timely negate. If we got that off, we probably would have had a chance. Blood sign. I don't know if anyone remembers how expensive this card was pre-ordering for, and now it's like 75 cents. Alrighty, so I'm going to cut this one short. I'm going to come back with another video as a separate um, best of three, and we'll upload it there. My dog's calling for me to go outside for a quick walk, but uh, tune in for more. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.